Hi everyone, welcome to a brand new Maya series. If you've always wanted to learn 3D modeling but don't have any experience, then this will be a very beginner friendly course. We're going to take you through the installation process, learning the interface, and then teach you some tools to get you making your first objects. It'll be a lot of fun. Let's get started. Okay, so here we are on the Autodesk website. And before we begin with the installation process of the trial version, so the free version, I want to talk about a couple of the other different versions of Maya. Uh, but if you want to skip to the installation, the timestamps below. But I'm going to talk about a version of Maya that they don't really advertise that um, is a very affordable purchase if you ever make that decision down the road. So stick around for that if you're interested. So Maya, let's find it. It's under products. And let's go down to Maya and take a look at it. The full version of Maya is um, quite expensive. So I'm just going to use this drop down. But um, the one year price is $1,620, which is very steep. Most people won't be able to afford that, in my opinion. But if you're working for a company, they're going to provide you with the software. Uh, so they also have a monthly price, which is 205. That year yearly price works actually out to 135. And then they have a three year plan that drops the price a little bit further down to 122. And that's the full version of Maya. You're getting the, the, the tools needed for animation, modeling, simulation, and rendering. So a lot of effect stuff. Uh, and Maya is just a, a great program because it's such an industry program. Which, which means like all the major companies use it, right? And so there's also another version of Maya called Maya LT. Um, you get to it from, um, I'll just show you how you get to it. So you get to it from, um, go under products, products, show all products. And then you got to go down and find Maya LT. There it is. And my LT is a pretty affordable uh, version, right? Uh, option compared to the other one, it's two sixty five for the year. But it's a, a essentially a stripped down version of Maya. You're gonna be missing the rendering features and some of the effect stuff, and. Um, they're, they list the features there. So if you want to take a look at it and see if it still works out for you, some people will find a use for this, right? You're, you're still getting the modeling and the animation tools necessary for making games. And some people, for some people, that's all they need. But I found when I had my LT is that when I'm trying to learn and I'm looking for tutorials and such, sometimes you're missing um, key tools that help you finish the tutorial. And it's a bummer when you, you can't do it. So that's that's one of the negatives for sure. But the pricing is pretty reasonable, and also they have some pricing options as well. If you use drop down here, um, let's take let's take a look. It's um, thirty five monthly or two sixty five a year, which drops it down to twenty three dollars. So compared the two, right, that's not bad. If if Maya LT is all you need, now let's talk about the version of Maya that they don't talk about, which is Maya Indie. And the best way to find it is just Google Maya Indie because it's not easy to find on the Autodesk website. I can never find it, right? And um, if you take a look at it, it's essentially the full version of Maya. So you're getting this at a drastically reduced price as long as you qualify. So let's choose the country, US. So we take a look at US dollars and then it's going to ask if you're eligible. So to be eligible for Maya Indie, you have to um, have an annual gross revenue from your creative work of less than $100,000. So if your project is valued at over $100,000, you don't qualify really, right? And um, it's one license subscription per user, which is pretty much the standard anyways. And then you have to be uh, in one of the supported countries. Now, I'm not sure why they don't advertise this. I know it's fairly recent. A lot of people don't know about it because it was introduced in many of these countries just this year. And it may have been released in the U.S. maybe last year at the earliest or even this year. So you have to um, check on that one. Um, and then if you click I'm eligible, let's take a look at the price because I, I think like this is definitely the way to go for the average person if you end up deciding to, to purchase it. And 
I always recommend trying these programs first, you know, before you commit to, to purchasing, obviously. Um, I'm going to stay on the US side here. And the price is $265. So you're getting the full version of Maya for $265. And that, in my opinion, just sounds like a really affordable option. It's still expensive for sure, but you're getting, like I said, like a great um, uh, industry tool. And this is the, the regular price, right? So you can see the difference. And this is the version I have, so I'm quite happy with it. I get all the, I get everything from the full version of Maya, right? And that's all I wanted to talk about for the different versions of Maya. Um, just because a lot of people don't know about Maya Indie and I think that's, I don't want you guys to pay for more than you, than you need, right? So let's jump to the next part. Okay, so let's go back up and we're gonna go um, back up to here where it says um, Maya. And here we are on the Maya page and let's click download free trial. We're going to get a 30 day trial, um, but I also talk about another um, a free version as well. So we're going to um, the oh, the, the, these are just the recommended specs and they're pretty modest. So most computers are, should be able to handle it and we'll click next. And then it asks, are you a business user or a student? And if it's a business user, you're going to be um, moved to the, the page where you get the trial version. But if you're a student or a teacher, one of the things you can do is if you can verify your status as a student or teacher, you can get a year free of Maya and you can use that to for educational purposes and that's renewable. So as long as you're a student or teacher, you can keep renewing that. So it's pretty great. Um, it used to be three years and they reduced it to one year renewable. And I think it was because a lot of people were abusing it, right? So let's click um, business user. Um, if you're a student or teacher, feel free right, to click that one. And then we're going to click next here. And then we just need to sign in. That's me. And then sign in. Just going to stay signed in. And then um, you just need to fill in your information. You might have to make up a company name. Just going to fill in my information. And then we'll download the installer. So. Our download has started, um, and then we can click um, executable here. Okay, so here we're at the license and service agreement. You just need to agree and then hit OK. These are usually pretty standard. And then you choose where you want to install your program and then just click Next. And then it's going to select some additional options. I would click all of these personally, right? Um, Bitfrost extension, we'll probably end up dis disabling that anyhow, right? But um, we can, I'll, I'll show you later how to uh, enable or disable the plugins. And then Arnold, we won't necessarily use that often, but we will be using that. So click that. And then I use Substance, so I click that. Okay, so the first part has downloaded for us. We have um, Autodesk Maya 2020, we have Substance, Arnold and Bitfrost, so we'll click Start. And now we're greeted with this window. So here is where you can start your trial. Okay, okay, we can minimize this window. Maya's loading up, it looks like it's um, ready to go. All right, that's all there was to it, to installing Maya. In the next part, we'll take a look at the interface and navigation. See you there.